Hey, it's Joy and welcome to The Firm. So I wanted to do a video again on the proper way of setting up a holding company or a parent company so that you have your proper structure for asset protection. So your first, uh, your first LLC or corporation will be a holding company. That holding company will then own all the subsidiaries. So your, your other uh, multiple LLCs or corporations, whichever you choose, okay? The most important thing about a holding company, an umbrella company, a parent company, whatever you wanna call it, is this company cannot do any business, okay? So we're not entering into any contracts. We're doing no transactions. We are doing nothing. The only job of the holding company is to either hold the assets or to be or be the be the owner of these LLCs. If the holding company does business, we are now exposing the holding company to a lawsuit. And then if that company were to get sued, all the assets now come into play and we don't want that. Okay, so your holding company does no business. If your any of these companies have any kind of assets, vehicles, equipment, um, homes, all of that will be in the holding company. And then all you would do is have a lease agreement. So let's just say I have a, um, a trucking company and I own maybe five trucks. The holding company will own the five trucks, okay? When I say own the trucks, meaning you have the title to the truck. There is no bank loan on that truck. So if I own all the trucks, my holding company will, would, would own the trucks. I'm gonna have a lease agreement between the holding company and the trucking LLC, where the trucking LLC will pay the holding company X amount of money a month to lease that vehicle. So therefore, this company can still use the assets, but they don't own the assets. So if a lawsuit were to happen, I would not lose my assets, okay? So this is the proper structure for a parent company, umbrella company, holding company. This is a little more complicated. It's going to be advanced asset protection. So you do need to have a professional form your structure. So you make sure it's looking like this. You don't want to do it yourself and you think you're covered. And then something happens and you realize, mm, I missed that part. Okay. So here is how your structure should look for a holding company.